Good morning everyone, so this is your Sir Kabusaw. We are going to discuss element and compounds. So first of all, what is element? Element is a pure substance, consists of one type of atom. Each atom has an atomic number. So atomic number represents the number of proton. So it is also divided into two metals, metalloids, and non-metals. So, it is a pure substance, meaning it cannot be divided by any means, chemical or physical means. So, it only consists of one type of atom. So, each atom has its atomic number, and the atomic number represents the number of proton. So, it also, elements are divided into metals, metalloids, and non-metals. So, metals is often conducted to electricity. So, they are malleable, shiny, and sometimes magnetic. So, they also take uh, gains or tend to lose electron. Or non-metals are typically not conducted, not malleable, and dull. So, when we say not conducted, it is not conductive to electricity. So, the flow of electricity is very, pro, uh, very uh, poor on non-metals. So, metalloids have some characteristics of metals and some characteristics of metals. So, they fall under the category or elements that fall under this category have some characteristics of metals and non-metals. So, they both have those characteristics that that's why they are called metal na uh, metalloids okay so elements are arranged in the what we call periodic table so this periodic table is the list of all elements found in earth okay so it has its number so how do we read the periodic table so first on the symbol, we'll, let's have the example of helium. So the number on the top is, you can see the number of the top. This is my pen. So here, okay, this is the atomic number. So this number represents the number of atoms or its number of protons. So this is the atomic weight this is the symbol so always remember that the symbol is always written or most of the elements are written in two letters so it is written in a it start with a capital letter and then the other small letter so do not forget that if you wrote a symbol of an element that is in both small letter and or both capital letter it is considered as wrong so that is not the proper way how do we uh, how we write the symbol of an element so here is the electron configuration or the number of electrons on the of the element and where it's located so this is the structure crystal structure meaning the structure of the uh, atoms of that element and then the name helium okay so this is the family that it belongs the noble gases okay that's why there's a gas here and then this is the temperature where you can see its physical state so meaning there are certain elements that in a certain temperature it is in liquid or in gas form okay so on the other side here you will see there is a number on top of the element hydrogen so that is what we call the group right so that is the group and group or the family okay so and then that on uh, on the left side the number on the left side, that is what we call the period. Okay, so 
That is what we call the period. Okay? So, if you are going to look for an element, so you will start with the group or the family. So, example, let's look for beryllium. So, if it is given a group 2A, go group 2A, period 2. So, we'll just connect this and group period 2, group 2A, you will find the element beryllium. So, that's how we look or found, uh, find the elements in the periodic table. Okay? So, learning test number one. So, study the periodical table of elements shown in the diagram above. So, write 20 elements and their symbol. So, you will write the name here and then write the symbol. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but you will write uh, since, since it's in the PowerPoint presentation, you will, I just write 5. But your task is to write 20. So that is just easy for you. Okay? So next. Learning task number 2. Okay? Uh, if you followed my uh, discussion a while ago describing the elements, you will know this answer. Okay? You will just write what elements are likely to lose electron and what elements likely to gain electron so and also which type of elements are likely to have no electrical charge okay so you can give one element right so next so if we are elements if we combine those two elements it is called a compound so, what is a compound? So, compound is composed of two or more different elements joined by chemical bonds. So, that's why they are connected. So, this uh, compound is made up of a specific ratio or elements in a specific ratio, meaning the number. Okay? So, the number of elements combined to each other. Man. So, specific ratio that is always the same and it has also a chemical formula. Okay? So, it has a chemical formula. Okay? So, can only be separated by chemical means, not physical means okay so when you say chemical means you need to add or it goes to a process where it needs to be separated but it cannot be separated physically just for example if you're going to separate uh, a gravel or stones from the sand right so that's a physical means but while chemical means it undergoes to a process. Okay, so that is the property of a compound. That is how deep uh, compound deeper from an element. Okay, so next. Okay, so this is the specific ratio that I'm telling you. So, if we're going to combine oxygen and hydrogen, so, for one oxygen, it needs to have two hydrogen. Okay? So, H, that's why it's written in H2O. Okay? So, meaning you have two hydrogen for one oxygen. Now, on the second example of compound, so, sodium and chloride. So, we have one element here and another one, ele another element here. So, the number of sodium and the number of 
chlorine is the same. We have one sodium and one chlorine. So that's the species, uh, that's the ratio. For one sodium, we need one chlorine. So this sodium chloride is also known as the table salt. Okay. Next is the ammonia. Okay. So N stands for hydrogen, nitrogen, and H stands for hydrogen. Also, another there are elements that has only one symbol. Okay. May I just remind you? So just like this, oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Okay. So it must be written in capital letter. Okay. So, this is ammonia. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4 hydrogen for 1 nitrogen. So, also, we also have the other, okay, the CO2. So, we have CO2 or the carbon dioxide. So, we have 2 oxygen for 1 carbon. Okay. So, learning test number 3. So, complete the following sentence by filling the appropriate word from the list below. So, these are the choices. Okay. So, the question is in your uh, module already. The learning task number 3. So, you will choose from this. Uh, word pool. Okay. Or the word listed here. So, there are uh, words there that are not included to your answer. So, you need to choose carefully. Okay, and then learning test number two. So, this is the Venn diagram. When you will write the element here and element and then the compound. And compound okay so if you have questions just comment below